This is my preliminary walkthrough of the frequently made mistakes I saw as I've reviewed submissions for assignment 1A in CS3891 and 5891 this semester. So first of all, make sure you document your code thoroughly. There's a description here that talks about how to comment the code. And you'll see when you look at the examples that I show in my class that we go through here, they will illustrate the form I'm looking for you to use. A couple things. Avoid the temptation to take the easy way out and use strings or string literals in your code. That is absolutely going to come back to bite you. I don't understand how people could have gotten this far in programming without realizing that, but there's symbolic constants that are defined in the constants.java file. Make sure you use that. You'll uh, thank me later because getting things inconsistent between client and server gets to be a real problem when you start trying to write code. We'll talk later about even better ways to do this, but for now, make sure that you use the constants that are defined and not use strings like this. Please also get in the habit of trying to use modern Java features. So in particular, use toList instead of collect toList. It's a minor change, but it was an improvement that was added in Java 16. We're using Java 19, so you can use that, no problem. Uh, make sure that you use the appropriate strings to the get mapping annotation. In particular, something is missing here. You need to give the, the query syntax after you put in the search name. So if you take a look at the bearer quotes example that we're going to go over here in a minute, you'll see how to do that. There's also videos that talk about how to do that as well. And make sure that you use the right annotation for this. It's not a request param. It's a different kind of annotation whenever you use the search query approach or the query approach. And then finally down here, try to get in the habit of using a list of something rather than a response entry to a list of something. Minor point, but in the other way works, but uh, this is a bit more kind of spring-like as opposed to HTTP programming-like. And if you do that, then you can also eliminate some of the complexity of the code and just say your service field name dot get movies or, or whatever, whatever method you have to call here. And that will go ahead and just return the result. You don't have to put it into a local variable and then change the response entity to okay and add the value and so on. So just a little bit cleaner way to do things, a bit more object oriented. So that's what I saw so far. Please note, I moved the deadline back till Friday. If you're, if you're done early, that's great. I will try to take a look at the, the code, but I have no guarantees I, I should be able to start taking a look at it on Friday.